Sometimes I like to go outside Sometimes I like to run and hide But I know all the time All the time You are with me Always with me this week we started an awesome new unit last week called sing in the rain and it reminds us that no matter what happens we can trust God and I asked you a big important question last week that I want to see if you remember the answer to let's try it together who's got it God's got it that's right my friends let's try it again say it as loud as you can are you ready who's got it God's got it that's right friends God's got it. We can always count on God because He's got it, no matter what. And you know, that reminds me of our new memory verse from last week from the book of Joshua. It talks about how God's got it because He is with us wherever we go. Let's try it together. Remember, it starts with God. Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Okay, boys and girls, let's have some fun with it. This time, I want you to say it as loud as you can. Like, get up on your feet and get ready to really shout it. Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Whew, that was really loud. Can we try the opposite of loud? I know you know what that is. We won't wake up any babies, okay? Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. That's right, boys and girls. God is with you wherever you go. And you know what? In our true Bible story today, we are going to hear about someone who God was with. But it's not a grown-up someone. It's a teeny tiny baby someone and God was with him too. Do you want to hear who it is? Let's check out our Ollie video and find out. I'll see you back here in just a minute. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. I can't believe it's still raining outside, but I'm not letting that slow me down. 
I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now, any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. It's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh, but you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ah, <laughs> great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no! Ready? Oh no! Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now, pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm, let's help her watch, okay? Everyone, look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow, it's a princess. Ooh, the princes of Egypt. Uh-oh, baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story. And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. 
He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! My friends, what an amazing true story. God was with Moses. God was with baby Moses when he was in that basket and he protected him. He took care of him just like God is with you. God is always with you. There's nowhere that you can go that God isn't with you. He's right there with you right now. He's taking care of you. God is with you and God's got it, my friends. Let's pray together. Fold your hands, bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for being with us. Thank you for taking care of us. God, thank you that you've always got it. We love you, God. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Oh, I am so thankful that God is always with us, taking care of us, and that God's got it, aren't you? Well, friends, I'll see you back here for another week of Church at Home. Until then, have a great week. I love you, boys and girls. Bye. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes, he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. I know that I can trust him. No matter what the season. His plans are for a reason. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I love is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 love will never change. I know they are good, I know they are best The reason I know is because I said He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know.